Voltec interview number 03 for the position of overseer for Vault 114. Interview subject, Benjamin Beasley. Mr. Beasley, as overseer of Vault 114, how would you settle a disagreement between two of your vault residents? Well, I would obviously take it through the proper channels, assuming neither of their requests were against the law, of course. This is, of course, assuming that the conflict had already gone through all the other members of the Vault's Residence Council that I plan on organizing. Vault Residence Council, you say? Yes, of course. People need government. They yearn for it. I think it's a civic duty of every red-blooded American patriot to serve the... Yes, I think we have everything we need here. Thank you for your time. Oh, already? Well, I look forward to hearing from you soon. Yes, I'm sure you will. Please make sure to fill out your non-disclosure agreement on your way out. This is Vault Tech interview number 21 for the position of Overseer for Vault 114. Interview subject, Kimberly Weiss. Hello, Mrs. Weiss. How do you do? And may I just say what an honor it is to even be considered for the position of Overseer. Ever since I was a little girl in mock government, I dreamed that one day I would have the opportunity to lead a community to greatness. My teachers all told me I had leadership potential, and without my guidance as student council vice president, those bake sales surely would have failed. Just the thought of being able to organize and run this small group, to show them a better way, to lead them to a future so bright that they... My goodness. Looks like we're out of time. What? We just started! Yes, yes. Thank you. If you could just send the next candidate in as you leave. Oh, uh, of course. Uh, did I mention I was head of my debate team? I'm sure you did. Thank you. <sighs> this is Vault Tech interview number 87 for the position of overseer for Vault 114. The candidate has refused to give his real name and has only provided the name... Supkin Harry? That's right. I ain't telling you nothing. My name is the name I call myself, not the rank and number the government brands on me. No, sir. Fascinating, Mr. Um, Supkin, would you mind telling me why you're distrustful of the government? I've seen what they do come up the works with red tape and bureaucracy, take every hard-earned cent and use it to fund their Illuminati, Freemason sex parties. <sighs> I'm a free man. I should be able to live as I see fit. My taxes pay for them streets and alleys and dumpsters. I'll sleep where I want. Sir, according to this, you haven't paid taxes in many years. I seen the back of them Abraxo boxes. Not for consumption? Don't you tell me what to do. I'll eat what I want. Sir, you may just be the perfect candidate. How would you like to be the new overseer for Vault 114? I ain't wearing no goddamn tie. Or pants.
hard and loud, huh? Well, it gets the job done. Bad for whoever. Doors on the fritz. Let me see if I can get it open. Almost got. There we are. Hell of a lot easier to do when the lock isn't on the other side. What the? Hey. Who tied to? Stairs? Who built this damn fall? Fitness instructor?
got it. Skinny Malone and the rest of his boys are waiting for us somewhere. The name's, uh, ironic, but don't let that fool you. He's dangerous. Another lock. Okay, I got it. But I hear big fat footsteps on the other side. Once we step through this door, get ready for anything. Shoot up my guys? You have any idea how much this is gonna set me back? I wouldn't be here if it weren't for your two-timing dame, Skinny. You ought to tell her to write home more often. Oh, poor little Valentine. Ashamed you got beat up by a girl. I'll just run back home to Daddy, shall I? Should have left that alone, Nikki. This ain't the old neighborhood. In this vault, I'm king of the castle. You hear me? And I ain't letting some private dick shut us down now that I finally got a good thing going. I told you we should have just killed him! But then you had to get all sentimental. All that stupid crap about the old times. Dala, I'm handling this! Skinny Malone's always got things under control. Oh yeah? Then what's this guy doing here, huh? Valentine must have brought him here to rub us all out? Skinny's no good for you, Darla. You put a bullet in him, and I just might let you go. Wow. You're... You're a bad boy, ain't you? Sorry, babe. But this is the end for us. And for you. You double-crossing mall. Teach me to fall for a great set of legs. <laughs> Good night, sweet prince. Here's to all the old days. Let's get out of here. There's a service ladder that should take us right to the surface. Commonwealth sky. Never thought anything so naturally ominous could end up looking so inviting. Thanks for getting me out. How did you know where to find me, anyway? Not many people knew where I went. Honestly, I was just there at the right time. Seemed like you needed help. I appreciate it. But a good Samaritan in these parts is liable to end up on the wrong side of a loaded gun. I should know. Now, you mentioned something about your son, Sean, and how he went missing. I want you to come to my office in Diamond City. Give me all the details. Besides, I think you've earned a chance to sit down and clear your head. I'll meet you there. See you in Diamond City.
What's that? Firm kill. Get that safe best bird. Can't wait to get out of this goddamn heat.
every game. and some bones to break. some of that junk down. Over here. All right. I remember so the last time I had clean out. fingernails. Are you kidding? I can't get to that. Move here. I'll take care of it. Hey, Easy. wait there. Okay. Just give me a shout when you need me. 